Hello everyone, I'm here once again and in today's video, I would like to share the readings for this coming Sunday, September 15, 2024. To start well, let's have our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to listen to your words, O Lord. Please send us your Holy Spirit that we may understand the readings that we're going to take up. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So, brothers and sisters, since we have already our opening prayer, let's proceed to the Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priest, and the scribes and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this, he turned around and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here, my brothers and sisters in the Holy Gospel, as we can read, this is the confession of Peter's faith. His faith that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. But first of all, I mean after his confession and after Jesus uh, spoke to them openly, teach them about his death, about that he will suffer death and rise again after three days. He, a uh, Peter, after Peter rebuked him, for Peter doesn't want that, he will be die. So what did Jesus said to them? He said, he rebuked Peter. He said, get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as man does, but as human being do. So here, brothers and sisters, we can see the faith of a uh, of a Saint Peter to Jesus as the Son of the Living God, as the Christ. So, as uh, we can see here, that Jesus um, rebuked Peter because he uh, he wants Peter to know that we must obey the will of God, not 
as we do not our well but God's well so ayan po yung uh, message here the faith of Peter this his confession his confession of his faith that Jesus is the Christ but Jesus wants Peter to follow God's will to let the to teach Peter to do the will of God to accept what God's will for Christ for him because Peter cannot accept that Jesus will die will suffer will die and rose again rise again after after three days so I am for brothers and sisters our faith our faith to Jesus Christ as well as the live son of the living God and we must do God's will and faith without works is death so I am for if we have faith so we must have to act on it so follow the will of God amen so, so brothers and sisters let's proceed to the first reading a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah the Lord God opens my ear that I may hear and I have not rebelled have not torn back I give my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my bird, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let the man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? To word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And here, my brothers and sisters, in the first reading, this is the faith of Isaiah to Yahweh. That Yahweh is being there. His help, his refuse. And he will not be afraid. And uh, as Yahweh opened his ear, he doesn't rebel. He follow. He doesn't he doesn't go away. He doesn't turn away he doesn't turn his face away but he followed the will of god so to serve him to do to do his will that was isaiah's faith the faith of isaiah is so strong that he doesn't he doesn't afraid of anybody he said god is my help God is my everything so I will not be disgraced if God is with me who will against me who will prove me wrong if God is in my side so this is the faith of Isaiah to God the Father his faith that has an action action why action because he follow God's will he doesn't turn back he doesn't rebel he said yes and then follow Yahweh's will amen so brothers and sisters let's proceed to the second reading a reading from the letter of Saint James what good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? 
If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat well. But you do not give them the necessities of the body. What good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone, someone might say, You have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith. To you from my work from my works amen the word of the Lord thanks be to God here my brothers and sisters in the second reading st. James reminded us all that faith without action is dead that faith without action cannot save us so what should we do we must put our, self, our faith to action. Whatever we learn, the, whatever words we learn from God, from, from the Bible, from the Mass every Sunday, we must put it into action. For example, if it's in the Ten, Commandment, Ten Commandments, uh, love love one another as god loves us so if we don't love our enemy and we see, and we said that we have faith in god so if we have faith we have to love our enemy if we don't if we don't love our enemy our faith is dead our faith uh, our faith does not have our faith has no action has no has no meaning so dead it is dead if faith has no works and so brothers and sisters the very important message here is that faith our faith must be put into action again for brothers and sisters so yeah well, thank you very much Let's have a, our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us your... Uh, thank you for giving us your wisdom and amin pong naintindihan ang mga salita mo na aming pinag-aralan. Thank you so much, Panginoon, at tulungan mo po kami na amin itong maisabuhay at may bahagi sa aming kapo. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yan po sa brothers and sisters. I hope na may nakukuha po kayong aral sa mga ibinabahagi ko, pas, ko po sa inyo ng mga readings for this, for this coming Sunday. Ayan po. Brothers and sisters, um, yan po. The message of the readings is that um, our faith in God must also be um, uh, must also be uh, with actions so if we have faith we have to act on it amen so brothers and sisters once again god invited us all to attend always the holy mass every sunday as it is in his commandments make holy the day of the lord thank you very much and god bless us all okay let's go Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. 
Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go.